I'm looking gonna struggle to change this shit by myself. I don't know. I guess I could just make this all one video. Um, I really didn't mean to record this all on my phone too, but right now, um, I was just switching off these things. This is pretty easy. This is easier than I thought. Honestly, you just slide the hole into one side and then just pull it all the way to the other side and then just connect the rubber through there. It's like, bro, it's like literally a hole. Um, that's not really too hard. And then you have literally these two bolts that hold it in. It's, it's literally not hard at all. Four bolts and the little sprayer thingy, thingy, thingy. Um, mine doesn't work. I look, you need to get another one, but, um, that's fine. I'll grab one of those off of a car or something. Um, this stays on the car i think you could pull this through but it's either you could pull it through or this hose goes on to there or something but i'm not even going to mess with that i'm going to just drop this down um because i'm i'm pretty sure this is what sprays out the water or the washer fluid um and then you connect it to literally you connect this part this is what i was talking about just now you connect that to um this and then you connect this little hole onto this thing right here so i just wanted to say that because i didn't show it um and these things are super easy to get off um let me try to show you it just goes over the bolts and it's kind of annoying it goes in this thingy you just pinch it it's like a pinch thing you just pinch it and then push it out. So that's like one of the first things you got to deal with. And then you got to unscrew these bolts. Right now, I'm going to work on unscrewing these bolts and swapping out this hood. It's going to be pretty uh, fun to do. Um, what I might do afterwards, I don't know if this is going to work because it's not latched. But what I might do is I might push this all the way down. I don't think it's going to work because just because it won't be like latched down or whatever. Um, but no, nah, and that would be kind of stupid because I need to like latch it back too. But, um, I guess you guys will see what I do. First, I got to work on one, getting the hood off and then two, um, swapping everything. So we'll see how it looks. Give me a second. Um, I might just post the, not post, but put the camera somewhere that you guys can see everything. All right, y'all. So I got the first two bolts off so the weird thing about this hood is that taking it off is kind of a pain in the ass uh, not a pain in the ass but it's like a pain in the ass you know what i'm saying um just so that this doesn't fly out i'm gonna just put this to the like the last thread um but obviously if you're working on it by yourself i would honestly recommend to do like sort of the same thing but what you have to do for the other one, and I will show you the reason why, is you have to grab something like this and you have to hold on real tight just to loosen it um, just a little bit. But um, obviously right here, I don't know why Infinity does this. This is Infinity and Nissan. This is the problem I have with Nissan and Infinity. There's, there's never enough space to work. Um, I'm trying to think which way to go right now. I 
I think I'm. See, look, and then this is how you fuck something up. I'm kidding. It's like not fucked up, but it's fucked up. Here. Let me do this with two hands so that I don't strip this. I've done this. Like, I've low key done it with taking off this hood. <laughs> so, dude, I really. I, I wonder if this is because of wiping. And I wonder if it's able to even come off. Like, dude, this is like, I think so. Because you see that mark, I kind of did that. But like, oh, what the fuck? Okay. So, yeah. All right, let me, let me, uh, I just wanted to show y'all guys that, but let me continue to get this off. I'll probably, uh, time lapse the rest of this. So, um, stay tuned. I just time lapse, like taking it off and stuff and leave it right here. No hood JoJo. We ain't got no hood. Should I just ride around like this? What y'all think? For a day? No hood? Ride around with no hood. Ooh. Let me stop playing. But y'all see the hood right there? Dusty as hell. That's how you know that thing. That thing. This car. This whole car dirty. But time for the new hood to go on. I'm about to put you guys back in that spot. I really. I, I think. I don't know if I pressure. I don't know, bro. I really hate everything that's going on with this thing, but I need to learn what the fuck is going to happen with this thing. But yes, we do have the hood off. It's bro, it's literally four screws, but it's just more difficult if you're doing it with yourself. I don't know how I'm going to get it back on, but um, <laughs> y'all going to catch me struggling. So we'll be back.
do have a black hood on him right now. <sighs> that is a chalkboard. <laughs> That's crazy. So he got the hood on. Damn, that shit looks decent. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm about to go take some pictures. We finna get a cold start out and take some pictures. Cause that look that like though it looks bad, like I I kind of want it to look, I don't know, me me more looking at it now, I want it to get worse and worse so that it's just always rugged and then people, more people, more people ride on it, more people ride on it and it just gets more rugged and rugged until it just looks rugged, you know? I like the rugged look, but sheesh, I'm going to have to definitely ride like this, so it's decent, like it's not that bad, hopefully I can uh, make it better. But for now, it is what it is. Um, I was just making sure that everything fit decently, and which it does. Um, pretty flush. Everything is not tightened down right now, so uh, I'm going to have to move everything over and mess with it. So that's what I'm about to do right now, and we'll be right back. So I think I have to shift the hood over a little bit. So I'm about to pop it, and then... I could even open it. Uh, that's good. Because I decided to put this hood over here. So. Yeah. Lift. Close. Ish. Alright. So. Back in here. So. What I have to do is. I have to probably just unscrew these a little bit and shift it over. So I'm going to um, just adjust it and then um, tighten everything down. So stay in tune to what you see. What you see is what you get. It's pretty simple from here. And then I'm going to ride on top of it and go to take some pictures or something. I don't know yet. So stay in tune. And you guys will see what you guys see. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do with this hood. But... Everybody been telling me to keep it on at least for a little bit um, to just test it out and see how everything goes. So that's what I might do for now, even though it's all like scratched up. But I kind of like the rugged look and this is not going down to the coat. I don't know. Like when I was saying that the um, paint started splattering, it literally started splattering like that. But other than that, like it did go on like pretty like layer wise and everything um there's no crazy like layers or it's bad layered or you could see line like crazy lines it was just like the you could see the lines of like there's some parts that are grayer or some parts that are like darker like i don't know why and i'm just trying to figure out how to get that to fix and then now we have this problem with the scratching um so yeah that's like another problem for me so but other than that it looks pretty decent let me stop babbling this has already been going on for seven minutes but um i'm gonna um yeah y'all see all the scratches and stuff but it is what it is i'm gonna finish doing this and um, I might split this, like, I might make this into two videos, but, um, just cause beforehand I was like messing with it before I even put it on and now I might make just putting it on one video, but we'll see what I do once again. Cause this, this is actually pretty longer than I thought. Um, and I still have to go out and take pictures and do crazy stuff. So, um, let me adjust this one more time. I'm going to say this, let me adjust this and then come back to it. All right, y'all. So like, I'm gonna show y'all just one way of putting these back on. I thought it would be way harder, but it's not. It's literally just like a um, triangle type thing over there, over here. There's literally this hole, you just gotta find it, and then like puncture it through or whatever. You gotta just get it on. I'm sure a lot of car guys have had sex before, so. Shouldn't be too crazy. And then you gotta just pull it to the other side so it goes over. Boom. And then you put this inside of there. Oh shit, I missed. That's what she said. That's what he said. But yeah, there it is. 
So you do that, and then last step would be putting this back on so that this doesn't fall out. Sorry, I was just... So that is all tucked up over there. And then I have this last one. I'm pretty sure this is like for no reason, but um, this goes down into there. I think this, it probably just drains. But that goes down into there, and then this goes on. <sighs> oh my god. Here, let's get this on first. The hardest part is like finding that hole and get it to, to fucking go on the hole. Go in the hole. Fuck. That was right there. Dude. I'm probably gonna um, find those kids that were in one of my last videos with the Honda to um, draw on my, my thing real quick. So, I'm gonna uh, throw them some chalk and then let them draw on it. So, yeah, this video might not be that. I mean, you guys might not get that first part of the video. I might split it into two just so I could do a whole lot of fun, fuck shit. Because I can hear these kids screaming everywhere. Alright, cool. So, let's remove all those so those aren't just flying. And, hold on. Fire. So yeah, we are up there and stuck there. Boom. I'm gonna get a cold start on this thing. <laughs> it lucky looks mean with this hood on, even though this hood is like fucked up, but it looks mean. They'll get it, they'll get it. It looks mean with this hood on though. How you doing, man? I started off by picking one of my favorite colors. Not one of them, but my favorite color. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna do <laughs> and hold on what if I spelled that wrong yes yeah, sir <laughs> hold on I can make it I can make it Yes, sir. And I'll have the little kids ride on it if I go find them. So <laughs> I'm about to go do that. I'll have to go find them and let them mess with it um, and draw more colors however they want. Like, bro, like, dude, that's sick. That's sick, bro. That's sick. So <laughs> that's sick. All right, I'll be back real quick. Let me go find these kids. Oh, you don't see the whip. What? Um, this nigga just asked me what inspired my my car. <laughs> yeah. You, you said what inspired it? Yeah. I mean, I like I like art. I like graffiti and stuff. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So like, I'm just a creative person. So that's it. Gotcha. That's what inspired it. I like that in. Thank you, thank you. I'm you didn't like, even see the other side. That's what crazy. What did your parents say? My parents. That was a different story, wasn't it? And I, they can't really say nothing. It's my, it's my money, but like they're like you crazy. <laughs> but right, it you're right. Exactly. You know what it says? Huh? You know what it says? No. I can't see. This. It's cool. It's cool. It says JoJo. Just in case you didn't know. Jojo cars. Jojo? Yeah, Jojo cars. Jojo cars. 
Yeah, subscribe to my channel, yeah.